Okay, so um, I have to go to school in like 10, 20 minutes and it just seems like all of these packages like to come right when I'm about to go somewhere. So this is the GSR crankshaft. Oh wow, this is really, it's a lot, it's a lot of tape you use there. Uh, this is the GSR crankshaft and um, I've actually never seen a crankshaft before in person. Here we go. Wow, this is really in there good. I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Okay, that was actually kind of difficult. So, um, this guy looked like he packaged it really well and that's, that's great. Hopefully it's not gonna be like the coilovers. What is this, like a case? What? I've never seen this type of material in a package before. That's weird. It's like, it's like plastic, but it's not plastic. And it's like foamy, but it's not too foamy. It's weird. If you're doing an engine build too, and you need some main caps and a and a crankshaft girdle, I got you. All you gotta do is pay for shipping and it's yours. Come on out. There you go. What is this, great stuff? <laughs> That's what this is. This man really like, went all out. He used great stuff and like this foam so it wouldn't move or, and bang around. That's actually really smart. I would have never thought of that. Because this is really difficult to do with one hand and pull it out. Actually, I don't want to mess up the crank. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put the camera down and take this out because this is just way too much effort. Alright, there it is. The crankshaft. And the crankshaft girdle or journals look good. Um, no cracks or nothing. So yeah, the crankshaft looks good, um, it's nice and clean. And here's the crankshaft girdle right here. I don't need this, I'm probably going to sell this um, for real cheap on eBay because I have no use for it. Actually I'm probably going to keep this one and sell the other one because the other one's kind of dirty. And these look like it was, these look like they've uh, been cleaned actually. Let's find out. Yeah that looks amazing compared to the other crankshaft girdle I have. This one I'm going to keep because it's so clean. And you, whoever buys the other one is just going to get a dirty one. So uh, yeah, that's the, the unboxing, reveal, video, whatever you want to call it. We are one step closer to starting uh, this whole assembly process. The last thing I need now is um, the thrust bearings, oil pan, oil pan gasket, and... I may get a new oil pump even though I already have one. But that's pretty much it as far as all the parts that I need. Okay, so I got the crankshaft, I got the pistons, I got the block, I got the girdle, I got the, the oil pickup, I have the windage tray, I have main caps. I pretty much have just about everything except for thrust bearings and an oil pan. Um, that is, you know, that would be all the parts that I need to complete the bottom end. Before we go any further, I was thinking about changing something up a little bit. So, you guys are obviously right, I was wrong. Um, the compression ratio for stock GSR pistons is kind of low, and I'm pretty much robbing myself out of power when I can just get more power by upgrading, you know, just the pistons. Um, and I got these for 90 bucks, so I probably could sell the, the pistons and uh, get a Nippon Racing JDM Integra Type R pistons um, and when I get my uh, my uh, cylinder or my uh, my GSR block you know worked on if it needs to be uh, bored out a little bit I'll just bore out the cylinders and get the appropriate pistons um, because I don't know I don't know if uh, it needs to be bored out or not so we'll find out and I'm just gonna keep these for the time being but if I have to, I will get bigger pistons or uh, just better pistons because these are not the greatest. But I did this to stay on a budget just in case. And it looks like I'm not going to be able to stay on that budget because, you know, after, you know, researching everything, it's going to be more expensive than $2,500 for the motor. Um, it's going to be like over two or $300 over, over budget, I believe. Uh, and that's if I can get anything cheaper. So, I mean, that's... That's what you get when you when you piece together a motor. It's going to be better in the long run because you have 
basically new parts all around instead of just buying a motor out of nowhere. Uh, so, you know, it, it doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted a, a reliable motor that's going to last for a long time and I really don't want to have to worry about it again. Uh, that's the way I look at it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it for now. Um, I will be talking to you guys again um, when I get my oil pan and my thrust bearings and Actually, before that, before I get that, I'm going to send this block to the machine shop and uh, we're going to figure out what, what needs to be purchased next. So, I will see you guys in the next one.